Hello, my name is Fred Williams. I'm a minister in the Church of Christ. I am partaking in a topic on denominationalism. In my first uh, uh, show uh, some months ago, I, I did an introduction on uh, being in a denomination and what that means. And so that simply means this to review. A denomination is this. It says that let's agree to disagree. As long as we bring up, uh, talk about Jesus and, and things like that. We, we focus on the Lord, but if our doctrine is different, it's okay as long as we preach Christ. And so when it comes to denominationalism, once again, it is let's agree to disagree, but let's have the same Lord, but we will have different doctrines, such as there are different Denominations such as Crenshaw Christian Center, World Changers, the Potter's House, uh, the Methodist Church, Catholic Church, Baptist Church, and, and so on. And so there are many names for denominationalism. And so therefore, all these churches or all these denominations, once again, they teach, let's believe in Christ, but our doctrine is different. So therefore, uh, for this uh, lesson. I'm going to focus on the names of the church, the names of the church. Now, when it comes to the names of the church, okay, uh, we are to call Bible things by Bible names. Once again, folks, we are to call Bible things by Bible names. Now, let me stop here. OK, as you're hearing me on this program, I want you to get your Bible and follow along with me, because now I'm going to say some things that most of the majority of mankind has not heard before. Now, this is not a new doctrine. It's been in the Bible since the beginning. OK, but I'm going to bring out some things that that are not really taught, okay? So I want you to, to, to get your Bible and follow along with me, okay, as we go through God's Word together so that you can see for yourself that what is being taught is in line with God's Word. Now, folks, when it comes to denominationalism, okay, let's go over these names again. Number one, Crenshaw Christian Center. Can you find the name of the church, Crenshaw Christian Center, in the scriptures? Can you find the name of the church, World Changers, in the scriptures? Can you find the name, the Potter's House, in the scriptures? Can you find the name, the Methodist Church, in the scriptures? Can you find the name, Catholic Church, in the Bible? Can you find the Baptist church in the Bible, where the church is called the Baptist church? Can you find the church African Episcopalian church in the Bible? And folks, I challenge you to go through God's word and to try to find where the church was called by any of these names. So folks, I am in the church of Christ. That's where I preach. I'm a minister in the church of Christ. And so, folks, let's go to Romans chapter 16 and verse number 16. Romans 16 and verse number 16. The Bible says this. The Bible says, Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ send greetings. All the churches of Christ send 
Greetings. Now, folks, once again, I am a minister in the church of Christ. Why is the church of Christ called the church of Christ? Because, folks, it is in the Bible. That is what God has decided to call the church, the church of Christ. So, folks, in this day and age, the church should be called the church of Christ. Christ, because that is the name that God has decided to call it. Let's go to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 1. And folks, once again, please get your Bible and follow along with me. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse number 1 and 2 says this. Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and our brother so things, to the church of God in Corinth, to the church of God in Corinth. And so, folks, the Bible calls the church, Church of Christ, and also Church of God. That is, once again, the name or the description that God has decided to call the church. One more. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12. And folks, once again, when it comes to denominationalism, people say, you have your church, I have my church. But folks, there is only one church. And the one church should be called by what the Bible describes it or calls it as. Okay, now, Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews 12. Let me turn over there. Hebrews 12. <coughs> about verse number 22. The Bible says this. But you have come to Mount Zion, to the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. You have come to thousands upon thousands of angels in joyful assembly to the church of the firstborn, to the church of the firstborn. Now, once again, in the Bible, the church is called the church of the firstborn. We have church of Christ. We have church of God. We have church of the firstborn. Let's look at another one. Let's stay in Hebrews and let's go to chapter three. Chapter three of Hebrews. It says this. It says verse number four of chapter three of Hebrews says this. For every house is built by someone, but God is the builder of everything. Moses was faithful as a servant in all God's house, testifying to what would be said in the future. But Christ is faithful as a son over God's house, and we are his house. Now, the church also is called the house of God. And so, folks, we are to call Bible things by Bible names. Church of Christ, Church of God, Church of the Firstborn, the House of God. And so, folks, that is what the Bible describes or calls the church. And so, folks, as you go through the scriptures, once again, you do not see Crenshaw Christian Center. You do not see World Changers, Potter's House, Methodist Church, Catholic Church, Baptist Church. You do not see that in the scriptures. And so, folks, once again, I'm going to state it over and over again. We are to call Bible things by Bible Names. We are to call the church what God has decided to call it, and we cannot deviate from that plan and be pleasing to God. And right now, folks, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, you know, preacher, a name doesn't really matter. God does not care about what you call the church. Well, folks, two things. Why did God call it Church of Christ? Why did God call it house of God? Why did God put in the scriptures church of God? 
Was he just wasting his time? 